Step, step up in the club, I just let it snow Watch them hundred dollar bills, nigga, hit the flow I just let it snow I just let it snow I just, I just, I just, I just, I just let it snow When I step up in the club, I just let it snow Watch them hundred dollar bills, nigga, hit the flow I just let it snow I just let it snow the quality the lighting is not good but i'm here um designing my well the logo is already done for the business i'm on vistaprint and they're actually fixing it the measurements right now which is pretty cool they took over my screen and they're fixing the measurements so take a look okay so i couldn't get it to fit within the border without cutting something off so alan from vistaprint he's tweaking it for me and it's looking amazing so this is the business card, and this is the back of the business card he's adjusting. And then I have a Patreon or a thank you card, the bigger um, thank you cards I need to actually put on a bigger postcard separately. So we are in the works, guys. Once we actually receive these, um, everything pretty much is set to go. We have all the inventory, and we are going to launch the business probably next week guys so if you haven't already make sure you guys are checking out the website go to house of tiralore.com subscribe to the newsletter so you'll get notified when we launch again we have eight shades of gloss bombs and we have four styles of mink lashes two of them are the 25 millimeter lashes and the other one are 3d mink lashes so we will be adding more styles in the future but we want to start you know with four main designs and eight shades of lip glosses which one of them is a crystal clear one which i wear all the time i love it so stay tuned for that y'all all right so i had to get my t-shirt you know to rock my brand and promote it of course which arain is a part of it as well but i'm the face of it um y'all look how cute i was when i was skinny that's when i was like at 140 145 i'm gonna get back to that watch hmm so we got the business cards i got some seals I had to get a notebook because I want a book um, where I can actually kind of keep track of inventory, just anything business related, finances, bank information, um, you know, to-do list. I just want to have a separate book for that. So I love this. And of course, I'm just going to get a little hat to match my little t-shirt. So all of this, y'all, is not bad at all. I got 100. I'm just starting with 100. I can always reorder and they come really, really quick. So I'm just going to start with this. And yeah, we're going to get it on and popping. Hey guys, so I just got home from work. Rain's at the gym and I have a dilemma. I don't know what to do. So my patient's mom works at a place where she worked with someone and apparently she just got sick with COVID and she's gonna be out. So Jen is, um, so she's worried that she got she's gotten it um she wasn't feeling well yesterday she almost went to the hospital almost passed out because she said she was having pains in her chest i'm like oh god so at, at this point because i'm doing like three weeks I, if she's trying to get tested as soon as possible she's telling me to get tested i'm like Ugh. i just got tested like two three weeks ago and i was fine you know what i'm saying if i gotta get tested again i'll be real mad like but i have to now because it's just like if she's positive, I'm just going to go out and leave. Like, I'm just going to go out at 37 weeks because cause I'm 37 weeks on Monday. Technically, baby can come anytime. I don't want to play Russian roulette with that. I was negative before this happened. If I turn out positive and Iran can't come into the hospital room because I'm positive or I can't hold my baby because I'm positive... I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be mad. So I'm like, I'm like, Lord, do I just go and leave? Because I was already debating it. And then she comes home and tells me that. I'm just like, God, is this a sign that I just need to take my behind? I don't leave because I've been so already uncomfortable. It's getting harder and harder. I was trying to work for like another week or two. At least try to get to like 38, 39 weeks if I could. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'm going to. So y'all comment down below. Tell me what y'all think I should do. Like, I mean, being a nurse, 
you're putting yourself out on the line, you're exposing yourself. We have to wear masks the entire shift. I can barely breathe as it is. I'm already out of breath right now. I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> so just wearing a mask, like I'm just, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Like my next shift is on Saturday and she's gonna try to get tested tomorrow, see if she can do the rapid test. I say, please find out as soon as you can because if you're positive, I'm gonna go ahead and go and leave because, and I'm gonna get tested because I can't, I can't risk it. I'm not gonna risk my baby, I'm not gonna risk it at this point. There's one thing if I'm like 16 weeks, 20 weeks, no. I got a few more weeks, so I'm not even gonna, gonna play them games. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. So that sucks for me. Um, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. I already planned for leave. I got savings and stuff. I just, I'm just a money maker. I just hate, if I can make money for as long as I can, I'm going to make money for as long as I can. So that's all it is, y'all. So just comment down below what y'all think I should do, fam, aunties, because friends, would y'all go ahead and go out on leave? Would y'all just, you know, wear your mask, wear your gloves? For 15 hours, I've worked 15 hour shifts, y'all. So keep that in mind. I'm uncomfortable. And even my patient, you know what I'm saying? She's immunocompromised. She can't afford to catch that either. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's just one thing after another, man. I swear. But anyway, we'll figure it out. I'm not going to be negative. I'm going to be positive about it. As soon as she knows, I'll know. And we'll just go from there. A rain, of course, he's going to go with whatever I want to do. He's not really picky. He's just like, listen, if you, I know you want to get a couple more checks in, but if you run a go, just go. Like, if she's positive, you know, don't go back. Go ahead and go out on leave. So, he's just very supportive in what I want to do. That's my boo. But, I'm out of breath. Anyway, I'll get on here. I'm about to go take a shower. He wash the dishes that's great so i can clean up tomorrow because this house is a mess the house needs to get clean like a deep clean like i just want that done before the baby comes just a couple things i just want to do so i'm glad he washed the dishes because i want to wash some dishes that's too much <laughs> i hate washing dishes anyway all right y'all so i'm gonna end it here i will talk to y'all tomorrow i'll see you for the next vlog and make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. And comment down below on what y'all think I should do. Okay? Alright, bye. Good morning, guys. Happy Vlogmas. Um, so, it's Friday. Okay. Let me cover up my little child. So, it's in the morning. I'm about to help around with some work in the office. We're going to fix that. Um, I'm about to make some matcha lattes real quick. So... What I use are these here, little single packets. You can mix them with like eight ounces, which I probably do like six ounces and then the rest milk. And then I usually, usually use the handheld to froth that first. Once I mix the water and I just have a kettle on that I just took off, I'm about to pour in. And then my infamous frother, which I got from Amazon, which you place it here on the link. And then I'm gonna do, cause I have to chill out with the dairy a little bit. I'm going to use the non-dairy vanilla. Maybe do a little bit of 1% um, milk too. So I'm going to pour, mix that in here, add a little sugar to sweeten it up. And then it's going to get really nice and frothy. And I'm going to pour that into the matcha. So it's really, really good. That's what Ray wanted this morning. So that's what I'm going to make him. As well as myself. So let me go in here and do that. Okay, y'all. Hey, so just taking a little break.
from being in the office to walk. My back is hurting. I'm about to make us some quick tuna salads real quick for lunch. And then later I'm gonna go to the grocery store and try to get something to cook for later. And I'm gonna try to go to Ulta as well to get the stuff that I wanna get. So, so we got the tomatoes. Okay, so we're gonna use bell pepper. And use some onions. I wanted a rotisserie chicken. If I can make a chicken salad, but I'm not going to the store until later, so. I'm gonna just do a tuna salad. We have a lot of tuna. We love tuna. Yeah, this is this fridge is a mess. Herb tuna packets for both of our salads. So let me go ahead and whip this up real quick. Array, yeah. you want Italian or ranch dressing? Okay, ranch it is. I want ranch too. I think I want to mix it with a vinaigrette. 